smelled so good. But it's a, it's a feel that I found on Monday. Jimmy saw it for the first time Tuesday night for 15 minutes. Loved it. Wednesday I played with it. You know, I didn't hit it great on Wednesday, but the feel is so good. Well, I, I put in, I, I come here and, you know, you're trying to hit shots, real shots, real pressure, and something was going a little bit haywire, and it was different a couple different times. So I think I saw both sides of whatever the heck I was doing, uh, like overcompensating, and, you know, at times it was great, you know, over there on four, just driver three iron dead into the wind to about eight feet and made it. Started putting better on the on the back. You know, I, I haven't been here in a few years, and you know, going from that putting green over there to the golf course, that's so fast. And you come out here and it's slow. I left my first putt probably six, seven feet short. Just I know that, you know? <laughs> but I've been gone for a few years, and uh, you know, I, I made some great bar saves. I made some good birdies coming in. Boy, I made some awful bogeys. There's some holes, a three iron layup hole, and I make both uh, three putt on the first hole. Yeah, it was. I'm I'm ready. I mean, I, I usually start fast here. You know, I, I usually like to say, oh, five, seven under, something like that, get the ball rolling. But I haven't finished that well here. You know, except for the one time I went in the playoff my rookie year. So if I get my bad golf out the first nine holes. I'm I'm ready to go. <laughs> Feel more pressure a little bit just because you're one of the local guys and you got the big crowd following you. I, I think I heard yesterday it's my 16th year here, so I, that's over with. I mean, I I felt adrenaline coming in there today, no question. And there might be a few tournaments over the year where I don't get the adrenaline up, and it's not good usually. So I. I'm always happy to see the adrenaline. That means I'm ready to play. It doesn't mean I'm nervous. It just means I'm ready to play. I didn't feel nervous. That's not what hit the swing. What hit the swing was it's a feel. And it's a fleeting thing. And uh, you know, I was gonna go home, watch my kids all-star practice, and have a good meal, and wake up in the morning and drive down here. But uh, my coach happens to be caddy for Fred Funk. And I gotta put in some work this afternoon, so I think I'll have to wait around and come back to the golf course when I get done, so I can uh, I can see it. Because they'll be on the golf course by the time I tee off tomorrow. I what, need to see it. What kind of reaction have you had from fans about your attempt to save this tournament? Well, it's been great. I mean, it's uh, it's nice to know they appreciate it. But what I what I told them yesterday is, you know, I, I feel like we owe it to them. It's, it's kind of our job to, to get that done. Uh, if we have any kind of say, any kind of pull, or a way of putting it together, we should be doing that to try and save it. But uh, it's nice to be appreciated for it. Was there any point where you had to kind of clear your mind a little bit, Jerry? You said you had the adrenaline going today because of this, this tournament, stuff like that. Was there any point where you had to kind of clear your mind of that stuff and get to the business at hand of golf? Uh, you know, I, I start out wanting to be happy and, and having fun and uh, you know you get to two and then three over you know hey fun's over it's it's time to get to work and I gotta grind this thing out now I heard hey smile and I said hey I, I'm making birdie you'll see me smile but uh, <laughs> you know I gotta get to work I'm, I'm not I'm not happy being three over I'm not gonna show them. I'm not gonna put on a show like I'm happy when I am three over anybody who's watched me play knows that uh, when I'm in contention, it means I'm playing well. Well, I'm having fun when I'm playing well, there's no question. Uh, but I'm struggling trying to find it. I'm going to grind my way through it. And that's what uh, has helped me over the years. I think you birdied the sixth hole. You weren't completely happy with that either. You kind of talking to yourself a little bit. Wasn't it the sixth hole that you? Oh, uh, yeah, I had 15 feet for eagle. And you're not totally pleased with the birdie, no. <laughs> well, that was a tough putt coming through the fringe about two feet. Not the fridge would kick in, but it didn't kick in. There you have it. Is it tougher? I mean, obviously, the wind's kicking up a little oh, bit it's, and whatever. It's tough out there. It's the toughest I've seen brown deer play maybe ever. You know, except for going back in the day when the ball wasn't as hot. Uh, 
uh, that this kind of plays like the old days a little bit more. Hey, this is awesome. Wait, wait till you get a little cool wind tomorrow. That's going to throw guys for a loop because we've been playing in some heat and the ball's flying. And you get in some, some cool, humid type air and the ball doesn't fly quite as far. Oh yeah, I I tell you what, that, that did not look like an under par round in any way, shape, or form. Uh, smoking mirrors on that one, you know? but that you know that I've been working hard on my short game, and uh, you know, luckily Jim gave me uh, a good thought on my putting that I didn't really use until about uh, 11 or so. So you know, it's uh, it's trying to keep track of everything. And it's. Uh, not an easy game, but uh, I'm, I'm very happy to come out of this round with one under and uh, get myself back in the tournament. That was a great drive on nine. Did you give yourself rid of some of your frustration with that? No, I kind of missed that one actually. I was a little under and behind. You were in front of the green. Slapped that one, recovered just perfectly. But, uh, it, you know, I've, I've got some work to do. There's no question about it. I, I know I'm, I feel like that. I'm close. I mean, I am very close. It's in there, the feel is there, I'm ready. You know, this is the timing part of it, you know. So will the golf gods give it to you or will you have to work for it? And, uh, apparently I'll be working for it this week. It's fine. Jerry, I wonder what you thought about the uh, gallery on the first days. Was it encouraging trying to move this thing forward? By the time we got to the backside, uh, I told the guys that, that I was playing with, I go, uh, they said, should be a mob out here. And I said, you know, Milwaukee's a work in town. Uh, I go, you can expect heavy doses on the weekend and, and tomorrow afternoon. But uh, I know it's tough on a lot of people taking off work and paying money to take off work, uh, you know, two days in a row coming in here. Hopefully that, uh, Hopefully everybody makes it a nice long weekend for this, for this weekend and comes out and droves on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I, I know we'll have a bunch of afternoon, good crowds. I'm sure they're going to be following Jim Shue and Caddy and just to see how we go. Right.